Sadly, more than half of students will reject their faith by the time they're done with college. And when we talk to students, it turns out that they believe that evolution is true and that they can no longer trust God's word. We also did a nationwide survey and asked students what they believed was the best proof for evolution. And they said human evolution, the transition from an ape-like creature to modern day humans. And of course, the biggest icon of evolution is Lucy. So tonight, guys, we're gonna talk about Lucy. Are you guys ready to go? Yeah. Awesome. First, I wanna show you a picture of how they portray Lucy. You guys have probably seen things like this. Have you guys seen this kind of thing in like a museum or maybe a textbook or something like that? Sometimes they even portray Lucy with an entire family and it makes it sound like they've got tons of fossils of Lucy, but do you wanna see what they actually discovered? Okay, Dr. Donald Johansson found Lucy in 1974 and there she is, there's the complete set of Lucy. Now please understand that these fossils were not actual bones, but a bunch of fragments that they glued back together and then they put them into the skeleton which you can see is only 40% complete. And while this is all they found of the original Lucy skeleton, they believe that she's part of a larger group of fossils known as the Australopithecus afarensis. And they believe that they found 400 specimens of them. And I wanna show you a picture of how they've portrayed those 400 Australopithecines. Here's an actual documentary that they've posted on YouTube and it was produced by the BBC. And what do we see? skeletons walking towards the screen and many people come away from that believing that the 400 specimens they have are complete skeletons but in reality here's what they found is they have found bone fragments now this is the hadar collection and i should mention that they've got other fragments as well but you notice that all of this fits on one table and i should also mention that quite a few of these are just teeth or parts of teeth and yet they try and make it appear as if though they have complete skeletons. Now remember, they started studying Lucy about 40 years ago and hundreds of scientists have been investigating this, uh, these fossils. And yet just recently they discovered that this piece right here actually belongs to a cousin of the baboon. It doesn't even fit into the Lucy fossils. And yet they portray as if they know everything about this, this group of fossils and they didn't even realize that they had a wrong bone. Recently, some other scientists have said that Lucy may not have even been a female. They don't even know what gender she was. Now, they believe that Lucy walked upright. That's why they want to call her an ape-man fossil. That's why they say that she was in the line of human evolution. And one of the main reasons they believe this is because of Lucy's pelvis. Now, when they originally found the pelvis, they realized it was flared out like a chimpanzee, which means she couldn't have walked upright. Uh, so in order to walk upright, you need a pelvis more like this. However, they also decided that the hip was damaged and that it needed to be repaired. So they took a saw and reshaped it and made it look more like a human pelvis, allowing her to walk upright. But a more recent reconstruction has shown that her gluteal muscles were actually like those of an ape, which would have made her walking unstable. So even if she did do some upright walking, it wasn't like a human. Now, another reason that some evolutionists say that she walked like a human is because they found footprints in Tanzania called the Laetoli footprints. And they were made by a creature that had feet that seemed a lot like a human. And because they were supposed to be around the same age as Lucy, they decided that the only creature that could have been around to make those footprints was Lucy. Okay, as you can see on the skull of Lucy, this is called the foramen magnum right here and they've actually discovered what these are like from other Australopithecines that they've discovered. And the spine enters at an angle like this. Well, that allows her to walk on all fours, which is again, very ape-like. If you look at a human, you can see that we're more at a 90 degree angle, okay? But she was like this. Again, just another attribute of being an ape. Okay, one thing that we should also point out about the skull is that from the Australopithecines, the other fossils they found, they found out that their inner ears were shaped like the inner ears of apes. Our inner ear is completely different from the Australopithecines, and that inner ear allows us to walk upright. Okay, she had many ape-like uh, attributes. As a matter of fact, here's the bone that enters the wrist down here, and you can see the rounded part actually allowed the wrist to lock into place. And that's what we see with chimps and apes is they have the ability to lock their hands so they can walk on all fours. Now, if this was a human um, bone, you would see that it was 
more flat and straight because our wrists don't lock like that. So once again, this is great proof that she was actually just an ape and not a human ancestor. How tall did this one was? Oh, that's a great question. You know, it turns out that Lucy was about three and a half feet tall, which would be, you know, just a, an ape, right? Okay, another thing that they found when they looked at Lucy is they found out that she has curved fingers. And it looks like her hands were designed to climb up trees, okay? And those are completely different than human hands. All right, I want to show you another picture of Lucy. And uh, what do you notice about Lucy? What's different about her eyes? Yes. They're white. They're white. Her eyes are white. Now, are apes, do they have white eyeballs? Matter of fact, did they go out and dig up white eyeballs? Did they go, hey, look, we've got eyeball fossils, <laughs> right? Impossible. How did they know that her eyes were white? Well, it's because they're trying to portray her to be more human-like, right? As a matter of fact, when you look at apes, you can see that their eyes are actually brown and not white. So you can tell that they're just trying to make it look like she's more human-like than she really is. Okay, now the other thing that you notice is when you take a look, they portrayed her so she looks like she's thinking about something. Do you know what she's thinking about? Bananas. <laughs> so again, they're trying to make her look more human-like to make it appear like she's evolving to become a human being. Now, do you want to see a picture of what she probably looked like? So here's a picture of probably what she looked like is just an ape. All right, so seeing the evidence tonight, what do you think? Was Lucy on her way to becoming human or was she just an ape? I would agree with you. And listen, for more evidence against evolution, I invite you to come to our website, debunkevolution.com.